Buddhism is the most widely practiced religion in Thailand. Theravada Buddhism is by far Thailand's most popular religion, however has also adopted Chinese and folk beliefs such as ancestor worship. Many Buddhist temples can be found across the country. Anyone who wants to visit a temple must remove shoes before entering as it is a sign of respect. The Muslim population of Thailand is dispersed across the country with the highest concentration on the southern peninsula and in Bangkok. Islam is the second most popular religion in Thailand. Songkran is Thailand's largest and wettest festival. The celebration is to mark the beginning of the Buddhist New Year. It is about purification and having a fresh start. It is celebrated with dancing, cultural performance, and water battles. After Songkran, Loi Kartong is Thailand's second largest event. The reasons for celebrating are to mark the end of the rainy season, to pay homage to the water goddess, and ask forgiveness for using too much water or contaminating it, and to say goodbye to past misfortune and make wishes for the year ahead. Visaka Bucha is the most important Buddhist festival in Thailand and three most important events in Buddha's life, which are his birth, enlightenment, and his death. Buddhists visit local temples, give donations, and perform rituals such as listening to Buddha's teaching and meditating on Visaka Bucha. The first one is greeting. There are two ways of greeting in Thailand culture, Y and Trap Y. Basically, why is mean hello or sawadi in Thailand? A why indicates the level of respect for another person and is an acknowledgement of seniority. Rap why is basically used for an acknowledgement of another person. For example, a senior person may politely why in return to a person who is younger to them. Moreover, patriotism is huge in Thailand. The national anthem is played twice a day which require people to stop and stand until the song has finished. The national flag is flown in many places, raised with the national anthem each morning and lower again in the evening. In Thailand, temple is the sacred place for the people. Therefore, it is advisable to cover up when visiting temples and shrines, as those wearing sleeveless top, short skirt, shorts and flip-flops will likely be denied entrance. Sawadika Chanche Siham Amani Sawadika Sabai di mai? Kong ni tau rai? Um, kun yu ti nai na ka? Kwa kun ka, lau pok ken i. Kun kai kin ru ya? Kwan is often described as mass pantomime. It involves actors be part orchestra, narrators, and singers. The con actors enact their characters on stage by using expressive gestures and embodying characters. Most of the dancers are men that wear costume and masks to portray different characters like demons, monkeys, humans, and celestial beings. Dancers are accompanied by Thai be part orchestra, which usually consists of percussion and wind instruments. Next is Lakon. Lakon is less formal and the dancers do not wear masks. The rich costume and golden head shape as Tupa are inspired by the clues of Kingdom of Ayutthaya. The lower half of the body does not move as much as the top. Graceful and sensual movement of body and hands portray different emotions. Dancers are mostly a group of graceful women. is Fontai. Fontai is a form of folk dance accompanied by folk music of the region. The dance has its own musical accompaniment by traditional Thai instruments and singers. The costumes are traditional, simple cut sarung and shoulder clothes with some minor variation in color. This dance also often have props such as long fingernail extension or lit candles. All of the traditional dresses presented are among the most popular in Thailand. It provides elegant, sophisticated and formal attire. It can be worn at a variety of festivals, weddings, religious ceremonies and royal functions.
Their Ayutthaya Kingdom, which lasts from 1351 until 1767, was one of the world's greatest and wealthiest empires. The ruin of numerous beautiful temples and palaces provide evidence of the old kingdom wealth. Wat Arun is a well-known tourist site that ranks first among Thailand monuments. This Thailand monument, also known as the Temple of Dawn, has undergone various iterations of use and now proudly stands as a symbol of the country's perseverance over the age. Ban Chiang is an archaeological site in Thailand Udon Thani province, Non Hong district. The Ban Chiang archaeological site discovered in 1957 received a lot of attention because of its unusual red painted pottery. Archaeologists discovered several skeletons as well as bronze grave grief during first formal scientific excavation in 1967. Som Tam, also known as papaya salad, is not only a signature dish in Thailand but also a popular one in Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam but Thai version is certainly the most famous. Som Tam is served in restaurants by street vendors throughout Thailand. Each region has its own version of Som Tam. But Thai is a stir-fried rice noodle dish commonly served as a street food and at most restaurants in Thailand as part of the country's cuisine. It is typically made with rice noodle, shrimp, peanuts, a scrambled egg and bean sprout, and among other vegetables. The ingredients are fried in a wok. Once the dish is completed, it is toasted in pad thai sauce, which gives the dish its signature tangy, salty flavor with a hint of sweetness. Tom yam is a type of hot and sour Thai soup, usually cooked with shrimp. Tom yam has its origin in Thailand. The words tom yam are derived from two Thai words. Tom refers to the boiling process, while yam means mix. Tom yam is characterized by its ding stings, hot and sour flavors, with fragrant spice and herbs generously used in the brew. The state that holds the highest chart in the list of beautiful spots in Thailand is Bangkok. The majority of Bangkok's significant tourist attractions are historical sites or religious sites such as temples. In Bangkok, there are numerous other interesting locations to visit like as palaces, museums, parks and various shopping malls. In various districts of Bangkok, there are both chilling spots like Chatu Chat Weekend Market, Sampang Market, Yawarat and Pahurat Night Markets as well as luxury level sites like numerous re-owned department stores. Other than that, Chiang Mai is also one of the places that can attract most of the tourists that come to visit Thailand. Chiang Mai is a country of misty mountains and colorful hill tribes, a heaven for seasoned travelers, a shopping utopia, and an adventurous delight. The interested visitor can broaden their horizons with Thai massage and cooking classes while in Chiang Mai. Others will be taken aback by the wide range of handicrafts and antiques available. The wild child will find lots of exciting nightlife, while the epicure can savor delectable cuisine. Chiang Mai, despite its diminutive size, has everything. Phuket is a province in southern Thailand. It is Thailand's largest island located in the Andaman Sea. Because Phuket has a strong Chinese influence, there are numerous Chinese shrines and restaurants across the city. Every year, a Chinese vegetarian festival is held there. While the Chinese community is relatively large, there are many other ethnic groups who bring their own customs and festivals to Phuket. Phuket is bordered by numerous beautiful beaches. The sunsets from Lion Prom Tap viewpoint are believed to be among Thailand's most spectacular. <music> <music>